Okay, hey guys. So, uh, sorry about the light. I'm just trying to get some more lighting in my videos because people have complained that there's not enough light, but it seems that there's nowhere good to put the light that I can find, at least. I'm trying to get it to stick somewhere. Okay, so it's... Yeah, that doesn't look very good. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, here's some, like, uh, electronics that I got, I've gotten recently. Um, that I thought just might be neat to show you guys what's inside certain things. So, um, this is from an old phone. Um, well, what's inside it? Obviously, there's this, like, high voltage ringer. It works on, like, 100 volts, probably-ish. can make a pretty neat ringing sound if you can get it fired up. And in here, there's probably a really nice voltage multiplier to get that high voltage. So that would be really cool. This is just, you know, the average microphone. I have that video on how to build a free microphone. You probably use this. It's from a camera, so just like the one that I'm filming on now. It's probably not the best, but it's it's probably half decent. Right here, you got the optics unit from a camera. So uh, it it's it's got the motor. It had the motor ripped off, but as you can see, it works. So if I put it up to the lens, maybe you can see it work. I don't know. that. Anyway, it's... No, maybe. When it's farther away, like this, you can actually see the zoom. But, um, you know, that's pretty neat, and you have it uh, controlled, some of the focus controlled with this little header here, so this might make a neat little... I mean, obviously right now it's only good for manual focus, but might make a neat little uh, addition to like a projector or something, you know? Focus a projector, I might do that. Um, and so then also, right here we have the uh, uh, original part of the camera, you have the little mini speaker, an LED. These are like things, all, I'm going to be showing things that you can actually get to to use for your projects. Uh, one of these um, mini B USB connectors that are so popular. The actual imager on the camera itself, so, you know, if you, for some reason, figured out the pins on the imager, you could, you know, sit this on top of the imager, and you could use the imager. Um, you could just cut the PCB right here, and um, you might not have to even have to desolder this, but it's an SD card slot. So you could use this for, say, a, um, like a uh, data logger or something. You know, so I, I, I might do that sometime just to experiment with data logging. And on the back, we don't really got much here. A battery, that's it. Anyway, from the same camera, there's this screen. This is a really cool find, because it's a color screen with a backlight built in. As you can see, this white thing's the backlight. And it just comes with one of these connectors. So I'm going to see if uh, some website somewhere has the pinout for these, and maybe some example code or something. And if not, I will try to get something written up. Anyway, the... um for it on my website so that you can see it in action, but there's probably some information already out there on it. Anyway, the uh, the number on it says 26S672B100-XX, um, oh, sorry, the slash is like uh, one of those horizontal slashes, you know, not sure what to call it, uh, 0086228. So if anybody has any information on the screen, Please post it on the form, because I and I'm sure a bunch of other people would be very glad to um, to know about it and, uh, you know, try to get something built for that. Anyway, for this, this is from something. It had a magnetic read switch on it, but sadly it was broken when I got it. And it also has a crystal oscillator on it, so I'm hoping this is like a 32 kilohertz or a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator. It's very poorly hand soldered down, but still very useful if it's especially if it's 32 kilohertz or 16 megahertz. Here, this is some very interesting stuff. You have right here. I'll get to the more interesting stuff last. You have one of these five-way selector switches. So, if I use my little screwdriver thing here, you can see some five-way selector switch. Act no, not really. Okay, you can spin it with your finger though. It's like a five-way switch. You have the um the uh, neon flashlamp that you could use with my previous voltage multiplier video. 
just make sure that it's it's only switched very fast. Because if you leave it on, it'll burn out. And I think these things are like Argo on backfield or something. So th that could be something an interesting part of a project. And obviously the best part here is you have a uh, 330 volt, 140 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. This thing is massive and would be really great to do some high voltage storing applications. So this is really cool, definitely one of the be better items. So that's everything um, from pretty much a camera, a phone, and um, maybe this is also from the phone. But, um, you know, it just shows you what cool things you can get and um, from stuff. Anyway, I'll probably make a video later on if I can get this voltage multiplier working to make this thing ring. You already know about the microphone. Um, you know, crystal oscillator doesn't really need much explanation, but I can make a video on that in the future. This optical thing, I'll, I might turn into a projector. Uh, the speaker, speakers are really easy to use, you probably know that. The micro USB, don't know what I'll use that on. SD card, I might do an Arduino SD card um, data logging thing. LED, blinky light. As I said, I'll try to get the screen working, so I'll let you know when that works. So, for now, you know, um, thanks for watching. Enjoyed all the stuff. Bye.